everyone, welcome to Mailbox Goodies, first impressions of a new item that I have here. Now this item was sent over by GLP Creations, and if you know who GLP Creations is, you might already know what the item is. Actually, there's two items. Uh, the items, this is one of them. And it's the other one, which I have already opened. And there's a reason I already opened it. And the reason is because I wanted to play with it. And I didn't want to wait until I did this unboxing video. So I'm technically unboxing one of them and showing you the other one. Anyways, thank you to Gavin for sending these over. This is a sponsored video. So what that means is I've been compensated monetarily for my time and effort. I'm still going to give you my honest opinion or like first impressions and there is a review coming. So if that upsets you greatly, I'm sorry, but I'm still able to look at an object and decide whether I like it or not. So there's that. Anyways, let's keep going. What we have is, as I said, it is the author notebook. This is like, like a fountain pen notebook. So. Just so you know, let's just preface with that. And I like it. So, oh, so exciting. It actually is exciting because you will find out in one second why. Let me show you some details of it. It comes in a plastic sleeve. Now, currently they're available on Amazon and stuff, and I will put links where you can check it out. They are increasing distribution of this notebook so that you don't, if you, like, for example, if you don't live somewhere where amazon.com delivers or you don't want to purchase on Amazon or you're in Canada or something, there will be other places to acquire it. But for now, just you know, you can get them on Amazon. They are $27.99. Comes in a plastic sleeve. If you know me, you know I do not care about plastic sleeves and I actually don't like them. I would prefer to see this as something compostable or biodegradable or recycled and recyclable recyclable. So I understand that the point of the plastic sleeve is to protect the material and to keep it pristine, keep it clean as it ships to you in the and from being in the warehouse, but I don't care for plastic. Now the notebook has a belly band on it. This one I've already taken off. The belly band has the logo, tells you the notebook name, tells you what it is, and this is why I like it. It's Tomoe River. And on the back it's got some notebook details, which I'm going to read to you instead of showing you. 192 numbered pages of 68 gram Tomoe River paper. There are name, address, and content, table of content pages, which I'm going to show you. So there's several pages. One, two, three. There are three pages of table of contents page, uh, format stuff for you to work with and just interesting to note these pages are not Tomoe River so I whipped out my fountain pen thinking I would put like some kind of hot like name thing here with my sweet blue ink but it just feathered so that sucks however <clears throat> the good thing is the these end pages are glued in place on this faux leather cover and it's really well done so like there's no peeling uh, there's no bubbling. I appreciate that. What else is there? A bookmark. The bookmark was on... I haven't taken the bookmark out yet. Just a satin ribbon bookmark. I, I actually don't really use bookmarks, so I actually find these quite annoying, but because they're always like flopping around, but I, I see the appeal of them because I use my notebooks in a really weird way. Like I don't really use them in like front to back format and need a bookmark. So anyway, that's okay. There is an elastic closure on the back so you can keep your notebook shut. There is a rear pocket. And in that rear pocket, there is one blotting sheet that is slightly smaller than the page size. So it won't stick out of your notebook. The, the, um, they describe it as light, flexible, and comfortable to write in for extended periods. I must admit, I do agree. I do appreciate that the covers are flexible. I don't actually like hardcover notebooks, so this is great. There is, um, like the whole thing is flexible. It opens completely. It lies flat without really like breaking the spine. It just lies flat. 
and as such, you can get all the way to the ends to write, so end to end. Now, it comes in two rulings. This is the lined version. It's a pretty wide ruling, like the lines. Lines are not my favorite. I like dot grid and then blank and then graph and then lines. So, like, I'm not crazy about lines. But the dots, I love dots. That's the dot grid. The line is a dashed, like a slightly dashed line. And the paper is just like their cream, slightly, it's not super bright white, it's like off white, but not yellow. And I don't, like, although I love dot grids, I find the rulings very dark. I find them very, like, large. And so visually, like when I'm writing on it, it's um, a little disruptive. So I, I do prefer the dots to the line because as I said, I don't really care for lines but I would prefer like finer dots or more transparent dots, like a little bit less opaque on the page. But you've got those two options. So this is from the lined notebook and this is from the dot grid. Okay. Ah. <laughs> okay. So let's uh, see what I've done here. So I've played with this, the line version a little bit yesterday. I wanted to just get a feel for how it is to write in. It is very comfortable because it does lie flat and I can write end to end. And because it's not super thick, your hand doesn't, uh, it's not like sitting really high up and falling off your notebook. I like that as well. So this is supposed to be A5, but slightly narrower, narrower. So I've got an A5 Loish term. So if, let me just, so if I just hold them up, you can see that the author notebook is just slightly more slim. Now, A5 is my preferred size, so I, I'm actually surprised that I really like this one because it is A5, but the slight slim profile makes it really like, easy to hold, and um, I'm looking forward to like, carrying it because of the size. So I like that. To me, it's very portable, it's very convenient, and because it's supple, flexible, um, it's even more easy to, to like stick in your bag and stuff like that. So, and as I said, it is faux leather, so if you are vegan or live a vegan lifestyle, or you just don't like leather, I mean, you don't have to be vegan to not like leather, that's a great option. It does have a nice texture to it, like that leathery texture, but again, does it, it's not actually leather. So, overall, I really like the notebooks because I love Tomboy River. Now here's what I have done. Um, I have tested with markers, highlighters, pencils, um, I've done roller balls, gel pens, ball points. All of these things work really well. Of course the highlight is fountain pens, so I've done some fountain pen work just for fun, see how it works out, like see how it looks, it's a lot of fun. So. I'm not going to write in it right now because this is just my like, unboxing first impressions. Oh, my blotter fell out. And I'm going to do full, like you'll see writing samples and stuff like that on the review, which is coming up in a couple weeks. But I just wanted to show it to you in case you were interested, in case you're looking for a Tomori River notebook. And because it is the 68 gram paper, it's not as crinkly and has less ghosting and show through than the 52 gram Tomori River. Personally, I love the 52 because I love how it crinkles, but I understand the appeal of the 68 because, as I said, less show through, less ghosting, uh, not as crinkly, and it doesn't get as wrinkled, dog-eared, and bent as easily as the 52. So that might be a great option for you if you were interested. Now, as I said, the price is $27.99. The price is a bit steep, in my opinion, because I, I have to compare it to other Tomoe River notebooks that are out there. So um, just for example, this is 192 pages. Now it is a notebook, but you can buy 100 sheets of A5 Tomoe River paper at Anderson Pens for like $8.40. So you can also get a um, Nanami paper 7Cs A5 notebook and that has 480 pages. So basically like twice the amount of this one. And that's $26. So this is pretty pricey as it is right now. So there we go. I hope this was a helpful unboxing video. Um, hopefully you are not too disturbed that this is a sponsored video. I mean, I hope I've done my best to 
tell you about the notebook, like tell you how I feel about it, but also tell you what I don't like about it. Like there are some things that I don't like. So more details will be in the review. Uh, if you did enjoy this, if you appreciate it, or if it's been helpful, please like and subscribe. I would be so grateful. Thank you to Gavin and GLP Creations for sending this over for a review. And you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon as Gourmet Pens. And if you hate this, I'm sorry. See you next time. Bye-bye.